Hi Leo, this is Amani and welcome to your general weekly reading for March 6th to March 12th, 2017. Understand that these are very broad messages and they may or may not resonate with your specific life situation. Alright then Leo, without further ado, let's begin with your reading. On Monday, you have the moon. The moon is a sign of Pisces. You could be dealing with one. Um, this is all. This also means things coming to the surface that were possibly kept hidden for you from you. I don't feel like they were kept hidden from you on purpose necessarily, though. I just feel like you kind of tried to turn your uh, blind eye to something that um, you were afraid of seeing the truth about. Is what I feel like. Okay, and I feel like the truth kind of like kept trying to make itself known to you but you just didn't want to like let it come up to the surface you didn't want to believe it but now i feel like you're forced to really look at it okay you're forced to really open up your eyes to it now because now it's right in front of you you can't ignore it so you either you you're boxed in in terms of this okay you have to handle this situation okay there's no there's no going back and undoing and in order to move forward, you have to face this. All right? There is no going back. It's time to move forward now. All right? Because it's there. The light is literally shown on it now. Okay? Tuesday, you have a heavy burden. Ten of Wands. Okay? This is also your energy. You could be feeling this way. Um, I feel like someone is also heavily pregnant is what I feel like. Okay? So, um, they're pregnant. They're not feeling too good. They're needing to rest. All right? Um... Or you're finding out that someone is heavily pregnant and it's hard on them. You could be helping them out. All right. I feel mostly like this could be like a motherly figure that could be pregnant. Okay. And she needs some kind of assistance. All right. Especially if she's heavily pregnant. You know, she can't get around by herself. You know, there's, there's some kind of need of help here is what this feels like. Okay. With this, I feel like someone is... Um, pursuing possibly another degree trying to go to a different school for some reason because maybe the old school not that it's old but i feel like the school that you were in before probably isn't like serving your needs the way you thought that they would so now you're looking to switch schools is what i feel like with this okay i mean i feel like it probably wasn't cracked up to what you thought it would be all right so it feels like a disappointment to me i'm sure to you it feels like a disappointment but i feel like you will move past this all right like i said like on monday with the moon you kind of like there could have been an element about a situation or even about a school that finally shown up in your life that you're like wait a minute i i don't like this feeling that i'm getting from this environment that i'm in so it's time for me to get away from it is what i feel like with that energy okay on wednesday you have the seven pentacles okay this is about collecting reward i feel like uh this feels very school to me for the first half of the week all right this is like financial aid all right with this i know that when you take classes i've done it before when you take classes right and you say you don't have the books for the class you don't have all the mater necessary materials that you need to follow through with the class all the way to the end so you kind of drop it early before it ends all right before the semester is complete and once you drop it you do get that money back okay whether you apply for financial aid you, you do get the money back for the cost of the class all right with that money that you get back from that class i feel like you are using it um to do things you know that you want to do use it to possibly get a new car use it to like buy groceries all right usually money you get back from a class that you dropped isn't a super amount of money but it is enough to get you something decent all right is what i feel with this this is what i'm picking up from this card okay and um what else let me see what else i can get from this card for you it's not that I feel like because you're doing that, it could be affecting in a relationship around you also. Could be with a father figure. They don't like what you're doing. All right, so they're very upset. They probably had high hopes for you, and it's almost like you're getting your money and you're wasting it, is what it feels like. And the relationship feels like stress to you and to the other person that you're dealing with. Because as parents, you are a parent, you want your child to finish school you want them to complete their classes on time you want them to get good grades and then they drop out 
and then you end up getting them you they end up just using the money they got from their class using it to do whatever they want and it's like you're really thinking about where did I go wrong in terms of you know should I have sent them should I have ch sent my child to this school instead should I have put them in this program you know where did I go wrong in terms of uh, my child you know ch choosing to go in the direction that they wanted to go in I feel like I did the best that I could as a parent all right on Thursday you have the devil it could be a Capricorn but it doesn't have to be okay this has to do with ruminating thoughts addictions of any kind sexual drinking um, drugs you know anything like that eating okay with this I feel like someone is having a I was getting fitness issues okay like a, I don't know body image issue all right it doesn't have to be you it could be someone else around you and I feel like uh, it's really uh, taking over your you're really worrying about it okay this is like this is almost like for example um, being too thin and trying to gain weight or you know or, or feeling like you have or, or feeling like you're very weighted and wanting to lose it but it's, it's causing you a lot of stress um, and a little bit of obsession is what I feel like okay but which is why it is the devil the devil has to deal with uh, excessive behaviors okay like excessive working out you know excessive eating you know things of that nature smoking drinking anything like that but I feel like this hardcore working out to me okay like obsessively working out to get uh uh the your body in the sh in the figure that you wanted to look you know the kind of figure that you've been wanting all right but you're doing it i feel like you're over exhausting yourself and not drinking enough water as well so it's causing you a lot of dehydration okay so just be very careful with uh uh how you work out also what time you work out during the day um, watch what you wear and make sure that you're eating enough all right you're doing you're obsessively working out and you're probably not even eating what you're supposed to be eating okay you're probably eating a little less than eating a little bit less than what you actually are supposed to you're supposed to have a balanced diet all right so don't overdo it in the gym and uh, not make sure that you're taking care of um, your dietary health as well you know that's very important then you're going to be extremely hungry, and then you're going to go crazy. All right? So just be careful. Um, Friday. You have temperance in reverse. I know I don't read reversals, but it came out reverse. Um, I might as well start doing that. <laughs> but temperance is a sign of Sagittarius, but it came up in reverse, so this is like have not being balanced. If it was upright, you would be patient, you would be balanced, but it's in reverse, so it's like you're not feeling balanced at all. So... How I go back to the devil situation the day before, this kind of seems to me like uh, you are in need of some serious rest. And I feel like uh, you overexhausted yourself with a situation that doesn't have to be working out. But you overexhausted yourself with something that caused you to just uh, um, not be able to move, not know how to move forward, not knowing what steps you want to take next. You're like completely, this is like being completely upside down in terms of moving forward, all right? You, it is upside down, <laughs> okay? So you do feel like this, all right? You, the dizziness, you could be throwing up, all right? Anxiety attacks, or you know someone that is having this happen to them. They're off balance from a situation, all right? From not feeling well from drinking too much, from over-exercising, and, and it's like um, they don't have the patience to deal with them own, their own selves, okay? And I feel like you need to be more of a support to them, okay? They're off balance, so you're needing to support them with whatever their issue is, okay? Um, on Saturday, you have the King of Cups. This is a cancer woman that you could be dealing with or just a very nurturing female it doesn't have to be uh the sign of a cancer all right this person is um uh i'm feeling like emotionally drained this person is emotionally drained and i feel like that's why uh the temperance card came up reversed the day before 
um, because this person is whatever this whatever emotional whatever causes this person to be emotional emotionally drained, it has taken its toll on you as well. But you're interacting with them and you're seeing and you're feeling all of their energy and you're not knowing what to do about it. Like with your ten of wands, you don't know what to do with uh, how they're reacting to a situation. I feel like um, I feel like there is a need to get this person back in balance and yourself in terms of emotion because it is cups, all right. But um, it's just it's not going anywhere. I feel very fear. I feel like this person is fearful of some kind of change that's heading their way, all right. Uh, inevitable change is what I feel like is heading uh, their way, and, and it's almost like. They don't know how to deal with it either. It's not that it's it's, ter it's not terrible. It's just that they, um, in life, things happen and life is ever changing. Okay, and any and any experiences that we have that kind of put our lives in a different direction also kind of teach us uh, a new lesson about things that we don't normally pay attention to, like with the moon. All right. The moon is all about things coming to the surface, things hidden, all right? Things that we fail to understand and see, possibly even on a spiritual level, all right? So that's what I feel like with your interaction with this person. This person is coming into their own spirituality in terms of seeing something that they fail to understand and see in their own selves, all right? On Sunday, you have the death card, which is the sign of Scorpio, all right? This has to do with the uh, life trans. Uh, life changes right not necessarily it's not physical death but this has to do with extreme life changes um things coming in like i said to possibly teach you a lesson to open up your eyes uh to a situation that you know normally what we won't normally pay attention to all right with this i feel i'm feeling moving away you could be moving away you could be moving to another state country uh district etc or someone else in your life is experiencing some uh, a situation where they're moving away all right and uh in that case it would be a drastic change for your life and theirs all right and it's like uh with this this is going to be a relationship this is almost like i'm not leaving without you or i don't want to live without you like this is very heavy to me in terms of a relationship where someone is m trying to move on but they can't do it. All right? They just can't do it. And it's like uh you really need to you're trying your best to be there. You're trying you want to it's almost like you want to hold on to them, but it's it's to the point where um you have to let go sometimes. All right? And maybe it's possibly there is a time where you have to let go and let somebody um go off to someone else. Let them learn their lessons on their own like that kind of experience. All right? It can seem heavy in the sense of, uh, well, it could be divorce, somebody divorcing someone else, all right, uh, spiritual contracts, all right, and needing, there's that need to let go, but then not being able to, and that's why it, it is a burden in that case, okay? For your underlying theme, you have the Page of Swords. All right, this is about, uh, this could be a social media card, okay, because there is a little Facebook F tree shaped uh well a, a tree a f shaped tree that looks like facebook in the corner right there all right but this has to do with uh you could be exposing or expressing your feelings to someone online and other people are seeing it all right so whereas with this situation here with the queen of cups and the death card you're letting your feelings known about someone you really care about okay and in a big way very beautiful, very beautiful way, and I feel like um, the circumstances were a bit strange, but I feel like you are doing it in a way that is um, um, that is going to highlight their life in a very beautiful way. All right, I feel you cared a lot about this person. All right, you wanted them, you wanted to be with them forever, you wanted to keep them around. Okay, could it actually be a could be a younger air sign, but it doesn't have to be, all right. But I feel like you really cared a lot about this person, okay. And or they could be making their feelings known to you. You never know. Could go both ways, all right. But uh, there's a need for change uh, in that relationship with you and that other person, okay.
All right, then, Leo, I hope that you enjoyed that. That concludes the end of your reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me via Facebook message or email. All right, then, Leo, take care. Bye.